So we're here at uh, Gerdau getting loaded. Um, <laughs> my CB doesn't work. I think I think it's shot. Uh, it was like a couple minutes after I checked in, they just sent me a message to come to door two. And then I don't even remember how long later it was that they sent me another message to, to drive up to door two. In that time, I was uh, getting my lumber set up on the trailer, and then I walked over to the uh, building that they had where there's a CB radio sitting inside, and uh, I pull up my phone and I realized I got the messages. So I rushed back to my truck and pulled up the door too. By that time, I was, it was like, I don't remember, maybe like 20 minutes later. They got me in the door here now, so I'm just waiting for them to actually load me. And then hopefully we can make it up to uh, up to Louisville tonight. All right, here's the load. I told this guy before I even started loading to load me at this line here for the middle, and then he puts the center here and says I used my best judgment. I already told you where to put it. Look at that gap.
stayed at a uh, Sheets last night. That was a uh, made parking spot. There was a, a truck that was already parked there, and I just parked in between a couple that were already there, so. Ended up having to do a split sleeper. When I left yesterday, when I left the um, Louisville, when I left the terminal, it was just in enough time that I was gonna be here at seven o'clock for the 10 hour break, I'd be here at seven o'clock in the morning. So I would have been here at nine o'clock last night. Um, and I was supposed to be here at eight o'clock this morning. But after I left, I ended up in roughly three hours of stop and go traffic on a Sunday coming up 71 they were putting down new pavement and I lost two hours from that and I lost about another 10-15 minutes from stopping a couple times which that was nothing but I was gonna actually pull into here last night I would have gotten here like at midnight last night but I, uh, my stomach wasn't feeling all that great, so I didn't want to wake up to not having a bathroom. That and I don't have another load set up right now. That one flattened out a little bit. Should retake its shape later. Give it a little time and she'll go right back to normal. I got this old Mac right here. I think it's pretty cool. Just a yard truck. You don't have any headlights or anything on it. So I did a split sleeper this morning. So now I gotta. 30 minutes in here for unload time, so I'm on a two hour countdown clock. But as I was working on stating, if I didn't already, I, uh, I don't have a load yet, so I'm still working on that. Right now, there's one in Cranberry Township that goes over to. Uh, basically Chicago and honestly it just doesn't pay enough doesn't pay enough and it weighs too much so we'll We'll wait and see what we can get next. And go from there. And I'll try to get my two hours killed here. And hopefully by the time that's over, we find something. I'm also going on a uh, somewhat mini vacation this weekend. Just going camping for the weekend at a Six Flags up there in uh, oh, what's the name of that town there? Uh, Corfu, Corfu, New York. It's right there where the TA Flying J and stuff is. Um, Rex, man, they call it something else too. I want to say Donnie Park, but it's uh, something Lake. Something with a D.
Darien. Darien Lake. Which I think it's the same place, but it might be two different places. That Darien Lake and there's like a water park. And uh, then you got six flags that goes along with it or something. I don't know. I, I've never been to it, so we'll find out. I'm trying to stay in the uh, somewhat northeast and then work my way back up. Um, work my way back up there. At the very least, park at the TA for the weekend. Got this whole entire thing, box, these boxes re, redone last weekend. Not last, uh, not this weekend, la the weekend before. And then the middle of last week when I went home for a day, uh, they, they got destroyed because we ended up pulling the board out trying to, my truck ended up getting stuck down in the mud. Um, so now I got to rearrange these boxes all over again. They're not terrible, they're just cluttered and from everything moving around.